Hello welcome to this pre-engineered building tutorial by Tecla Structure. Today I will show you how to create one more tapered beam and after that create a connection between them. Let's open the PEB tapered section, S94, this is, and input the sum parameters for the rafted beam. In picture tab we are going to input web height of the built up beam. Put 300 for both ends of the beam. Now switch to parts tab. We are going to input the web thickness. And the outer flange thickness and width. Do the same for the inner. Next, we are going to input the position O. It defines a prefix and a starting number for the part position number. Next, we are going to input the material. Then type name for both web and flange. These are shown in drawing and reports. Finally we enter a number to group the parts that component creates. Then give this setup a name and save as in order to use it in the next time. Now choose OK and select two point to create a rafter beam. Pick the first point. Then move the mouse cursor along the construction line. and type 2851 for the second point. Now as you can see, we have just created a straight built up rafter beam. Next we are going to make a connection between two rafter beams.
Type 200 in the Application and Components dialog box. And double click on 200 component to open it up. The Picture tab helped to define the dimensions of end plates and stiffeners, the location of stiffeners and whether the beam flange is fitted. Let's input the horizontal dimension of the flange stiffener. Then the vertical dimension. This option defined the web stiffener. The default option is top and bottom web stiffeners are created. This one is web stiffener dimension from the end plate. This one is end plate dimension from the beam edge. This one is beam flange option. We select the option beam flanges are fitted to be level with the end plates. Now let's switch to the part tab. We are going to input 16 for end plate thickness and end 185 for width. And then input 0 for thickness and width of the web stiffener. It means that this joint does not has web stiffener. Thickness of the flange stiffener, we put 0. Next, we are going to input prefix and start number for the part position number. Then select material grade for end plate, web stiffener and flange stiffener. And finally input name that is shown in drawings and reports. End plate for end plate. Stiff for both web stiffener and flange stiffener. Now switch to Bolts tab. We use the Bolts tab to define the bolt group dimensions and bolt properties. Select the bolt size first, we choose 24, and then select Bolt standard to be used inside the component. And the bolt tolerance it is the gap between the bolt and the hole. This is slotted holes option where you can define slotted, oversized, or tapped holes. This is bolt length increase, it define how much the bolt length is increased. This is bolt group dimensions. We are going to put 50 for both top and bottom bolt edge distance. Then type 4 for number of bolts row. And input bolt spacing. Enter one value for each space between bolts. We have four bolt row, so we have three values. Do the same procedure, we are going to input bolts edge distance for the bolt column. Then number of column. and spacing value.
Finally give this setup a name then save as to reuse in another time. Select OK to exist this component dialog box. To use this component we have to turn the select object in component mode on first. Now left click on tapered to tapered beam component. Then select the web of the main part. And select the web of the secondary part. The connection is created automatically when the secondary part is selected. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.